Welcome to Mr. Michael's ELA classroom. What are we going to learn today? Hello, so go, students. Today we are going to understand how your minutes are calculated on Literacy Pro. And then we're going to learn how to ensure your minutes are counting. So we're going to look at some best practices and tips from Scholastic. And then we're going to also talk about practicing our reading strategies while we are reading on Scholastic. So the first thing we're going to notice here is there are three options when you log into Scholastic. Now, these two will not be counted towards your weekly minutes. Only Literacy Pro Library. These are what are known as session times. So that means the website was, current, was open for a certain amount of time. Students quickly figured out how to kind of exploit this, so we do not use these numbers. When you log into Literacy Pro Library, this is the screen you will see. And this is the number that is used to calculate your weekly minutes. So this is the time spent reading for the entire year. Your weekly minutes is determined by subtracting this value from the previous week. So luckily, what I have done is I've emailed you this number that I last used. So you can see it there at the bottom. So each week, you will be sent the last week's total time spent reading. So to figure out how many minutes you need to read, simply add 75 minutes to this number. So for example, when this student reaches 14 hours and 13 minutes, he has read 75 minutes for the week. And the week is from Thursday to Thursday. So let's look at some tips. Because Scholastic does not always count minutes if they're done in a way it believes is incorrect. If you are somehow reading incorrectly. So the big one is this. You must read a page for at least 30 seconds before it is counted towards your minutes. Students are going to say, but it only takes me 10 to 15 seconds to read a page. Now, if it's taking you that short, maybe you want to increase the difficulty. So when you look at your filter on your left-hand side, when you click on books, change that to maybe three or 400 higher than your Lexile. So because we are reading for meaning, i.e. to learn new words and things, it is important to choose more challenging books. A book will count only once towards your minutes. Now this becomes a little bit of a problem because say you read a book and then your teacher assigned that book to you after you read it. What Scholastic will do is put it to zero. So say it took you 20 minutes to read that book, but you only read five minutes in class. That means you just lost 15 minutes. So I have informed teachers of this and hopefully it will not happen in the future. This means you have read or are reading the book. At the bottom right, you will see how far along you are or your progress while reading the book. So what I am going to suggest is you always filter out the books not read or the books you are reading. Because say you have read 10 pages in a book and for some reason you go back two pages and read page eight again. It will not count towards your minutes. So you can only read the book once. And then finally, you must be actively reading the page for it to count towards your minutes. So Scholastic Learning Zone has a timeout, and you've probably seen this before. You've left Scholastic for a little bit of time. When you come back, it says you've been logged out. Please log in again. For example, one way of actually keeping your session active is to be clicking on the words. Now the benefit is you can learn what these words mean. And because one of our big goals with reading is to learn new words, this is going to help you immensely.